YouTube, this is the check it. This is the check it dude. The check it dude on check it tube on YouTube. Hold tight for this intro and I'll get right back to you. You may remember this game from, I don't know, 1990, 1994 or something. Here is the intro, pay attention. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my mystery are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed. And so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet yet been written. And here we are. Check it, dude, on Check It Tube with snipergaming.org with an old classic called Mist. I, uh, a little history about this game, as far as my relation with it, is that I tried it in the early 90s and I could never figure it out. I figured some of it out. Uh, most of that, which I did figure out, by now I've forgotten. And I plan on making this a New Year's resolution. Seeing this is like January 1st and it's January 2nd when I started this video, um, I decided that we are going to get through this and we're going to get through together. I may even take your advice here and there on the comment section. So, this is Mist. As you saw the uh, pre-log, you click on the book. Now, I, I, uh, there is some of this game I will remember, but I'll tell you what I remember when I, when I figure things out, when I figure things out, or when I remember things. Um, a lot of this I'm going to have to figure out for the first time. A lot of this I'll have to figure out again, and then some of it I think I'll just remember. So here we go. We open the book. And now I guess this means, maybe it means I found the book. The guy fell through the crevice, lost the book, doesn't know who's going to get it. I guess this probably means that I found it. Okay. So, here it is. Um, I click on the left side, it doesn't close. I click on the right side, nothing happens there either. So you have to click on the picture and you can see the difference in the hand. One finger, five fingers. Okay, here we go. Let's click on that. And here we are. Now you never see my avatar. It's always first person uh, viewpoint. Okay. And you only look at what's around you. And you don't really get around that well. As you get around and um, I mean, if you were to boil us down to FPS, <laughs> you would laugh. It's more like uh, different pictures like I click to the right and I can look 90 degrees to the right and there we see a bo boat that has sunk in the water and I click to the right again and now that's a, 180 degrees you know it's another 90 degrees you can see a brick building in there in the trees now I want to try to go up in there and I click and nothing happens and you can't get there from here uh, so we go right again and now we are, uh, well, 180, 270 degrees from our original facing direction. And here's one thing I do remember. The last time I played this game in the 90s, I never knew this was a door. All right. And it seriously, um, you can't solve this puzzle without going down there. That much we figured out. That much I know because uh, I was unable to solve this game. And then one day I tried to click on it. Maybe I clicked on it by accident, I don't remember. But anyway, here's the original direction we were facing. And uh, you can see we have uh, elevated land, um, gears, two gears, right? That gear looks like meshes with this gear. And this gear is going to have an axle or a shaft going down into the land, turn, turning something underground. That's obvious. I mean, that's what that's what mechanical gears do. I mean, either either something down there turns this gear, which forces this gear to turn, 
or something up here turns this gear and forces that gear to turn. And seeing there's nothing up here with this, uh, this is a driven point and this is the driver. All right, so in front of us here, um, now we'll go back here. We cannot go up here. I click, click. All right, you can only look or you can go down that door. All right. So you can't go under the boat. Try to click nothing. The only way you can go is down here. So you click the straight finger arrow and you go this way and it brings you there. It's a series of photos like it's not really a, a game where FPS means a daring thing. Um, there's no fluidity in your movement. It's just click along. But uh, this is a mind game. This is not an action game. We have a switch here of some sort. You touch it and click it. Back to its original position. Um, let's click it again. Give it the new position and look around. Has anything changed? Not that I know of. Um, I'm a big fan for only changing one variable at a time. So we're going to leave that switch on and we're going to move along. Now this game is like a puzzle, I would say. Um, what was I going to try to get at? I don't recall. But anyway, from here, we click that way and this time the camera swings 180 degrees instead of 90. Sometimes it'll do 180, sometimes it'll do 90. Um, any time you can look 90 degrees one way or the other, you got to kind of wonder if you can walk down that path. So when you click again to the right and it's another uh, 180 degree turn. So to go up here, to get up to the gear, we'll go up, click the stairs, that turned us 90 degrees, click again to get to the top. Now we're looking down there, right? We started off here, there's the boat. Let's turn right, and that goes 180 degrees. We can go up to this gear, two gears. And it's another switch. We're gonna leave that off, and let's see what other options are here. We click this way, and we can go back down the stairs, click again, and you can look out over this way. Let's try going there, so nothing happens, okay? And so back this way. So the only choice you got up here is see if you can walk behind this gear first. Click, 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 nothing. Okay, the only thing you could do is turn the switch on up here. We're gonna leave it the way we found it. Um, like I said, I am a fan of doing one variable at a time when it comes to puzzles. And so we've already turned one switch on. Now let's go down, back down these stairs, all right. Now the only way to continue is obviously walk along here, all right. We get to these stairs, there's the building in there again, the trees, I'm going to click forward to try to go there, and it just makes me take a right and looking up the hill, okay. I'll try looking back here again, it won't let me, I'll go look to the right, click, it lets me look back the way I come from, click right again, lets me look at the boat. Click doesn't let me go down there. Click the trees doesn't let me go in the trees. So your only choice is to go up here and look at that. There's a note on the ground. Okay. Let's click on that note. Catherine. Catherine. I left for you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve this message. Okay. Four chamber. Now, I would think four chamber besides the dock. Um, I remember thinking it had to be in the sunken boat because I thought a four chamber was a nautical term. And uh, But now that we know that door is down there, um, let's go see if there's some sort of imager down there. Um, to the imager. All right. Enter the number of marker switches. These may be marker switches, okay? Um, let's go take a look down there. We'll go back all the way where we come from. Okay, take a right, go down there, go down here. Here's that the door that I never knew about the last time. Let's click in it, we can go down. Down the stairs. And we're standing in front of this thing. All right, click. You can look at the thing, click behind it. You can't do anything, click left. There's looks like it's pretty shadowy but we'll click over here it doesn't do anything so, so there's nothing over there click here um, we can go back up the stairs there's nothing here just the stairs 
there's something here. We'll get to that in a minute. Click left again. We'll just look over here, see if there's anything else. No. All right. Nothing in here. Click, click. So the only obvious thing is this right here. And this. Okay. They click that. I click that. Oops. And these are nothing because you click them and nothing happens. But you click this. Okay. To me, it looks like gears and buttons. Okay, but I don't know. I would say that this is the four chamber, and this is the imager, right? That's kind of looks like it would be sort of an imager thing. So enter the number of marker switches on the island into the imager. And the only thing you can click here is this, and there's no way to enter a number. And add to the fact we don't know the number of marker switches on the island. We're going to have to go count them. That's probably going to be the next thing we do. But we do want to check out something before we leave. And that's this. The dimensional, the dimensional imager. All right, the settings. Um, topographical extrusion test 40. Water turbulent pool. 67 marker switch diagram 47 marker switch diagram 47 all right so this is uh you click this thing and nothing happens but this looks like a button and there we go now what was that again um well we want to know about marker switches so let's try this let's put in 47 is gone. Let's see what happens. Now that we put in the marker switch diagram, let's click this and see. Oh, I see. This is, teaches us what the marker switch looks like. So those switches that we initially found are the marker switches. And obviously we have to go find as many as we can and see how many there are. Now we're going to do that our very next thing. But before we go, I do want to just take a quick view of these other things. So we got to punch number 40 and 67. Okay. Let's try 40. Click, click. Come over here. And topographical I would say this is probably the topography of the island we're at. I'm not sure. We'll keep it in mind. Let's go back here. And one last number, which is the water turbulent pool. That was topographical extrusion test. All right. So let's try 67. Funny that it's 67 of all numbers. This is supposed to be a water turbulent pool. Okay. Let's take a look. And that's nothing but, that's what it was when we came here. And that's actually, it was set at 67. So, uh... Looks like that's about all we can do down here. Um, we have the answer we need. And the note told us to find out how many. So let's come back out. What's this thing? Nothing. Clicking it. Just walk past it, I guess. Try clicking it again. So we're out. Marker switches. Okay, there's one. Up here was two. There's three. I doubt there's going to be one inside that building. There's already one there. 
So we're still at three. Let's look around here. Nothing in here. There's books. There's a map, probably of the island, right there. And we're less uh, trying not to get. We're trying not to get too distracted, but because this is our first time through, we are going to um, check things out a little bit. All right. So we were at three. What's down here? It looks like a spaceship. Marker switch. Spaceship is on a launching pad of some sort, connected to electricity. Um, so that's four marker switches. Now we came from there. The space. That's a oh, new direction. We haven't gone. The spaceship we went already. The building we went in. Then we came from there. So. Um, we're at four. It looks like five is going to be right there. Let's click down and walk down there. Yes, there it is. Now, let's take a little look while well, we're at five marker switches. This looks like um, the boat, a model of the boat that sunk where we first started the game. <sighs> hmm. um, these things and the each one of these things has a stone tower in there, a stone pillar. Alright, I'm assuming that's a switch. I'm going to click it back to where it was. I just wanted to see. And each one is different. That was an eye. The other one was a snake. Some kind of goose. Those are all different. Let's take a look at these really quick. A leaf, maple leaf. An arrow. It came from there. So this is a five. Let's turn around. 90 degrees. Still see five. Again, click again. Now that's new territory for us. This is going to be six. I see this. Let's see if we can look in there. It's six. And a building you can walk down. Uh, let's not go there yet. I'm assuming there's not another marker switch down there because um, you've got this one here. It must be for this area. Six. So we walk down here. We have a stone clock in the water coming out of the water. And look, it, it's on a gear. Just like the gears on the other side of the mountain of the island. So this is seven. This is something we don't have to touch yet, but it looks like some sort of controls, I'd say, for that clock. Seven, all right, so we look back up. What's over here? This is where we came from. There's still that building in here. We saw that when we first got on the dock. Let's see, how do we get there, right? All right, that's 180 degree spin, another 180 degree spin. Let's try going up just a little bit more. And then try going to the right. It didn't work. All right. Let's try one more click up and then go to the right. There's a building there and now there's a rope in the way. I know we can get over there because that's something I do remember. 180 degrees on us. We just want to spin 90 to the left. There it is. This makes another marker switcher. That's number eight. Okay. In this building, we've got what looks like a picture of a tree. I'd say that's a boiler. Matter of fact, yes, I remember that being a boiler. And that's some sort of valve for the boiler. Let's come in here a little more. Take a closer look. Turn around 180 degrees, and what do we got? A safe. Okay. Remember that. We don't know what it's for yet. I don't remember either at the moment. But I do remember behind this building, this is the boiler in this building, there's this tree. And I do remember what this tree does. But I'm not going to tell you until we get there together. Um, there's nothing to do up here. There's no other marker switch. 
and that was our primary objective to count the marker switches and so we have eight and we've covered the entire island so now let's go back walk up here go back down where we come now this note as a reminder he has left a message for Catherine right now I don't know if we're supposed to be Catherine or if we're supposed to be us this game doesn't really tell you um, the specifics you just kind of got to figure things out I've left a message for you of utmost importance in our four chamber now we know where the four chamber is as you recall um, enter the number of marker switches which we have determined to be eight there are eight marker switches on the island so let's go get the message we have to enter eight in that imager thingy and here we are open the door let's go down there dunk, dunk, dunk. turn around right there telling you when I played this game 10 years ago if there's a message here I never saw it because I never knew that was a door <laughs> I think my old monitor back in those days was really crappy and dark and it just well, let's see if this is a message we will click this now and Catherine my love I have to leave quickly something terrible has happened it's hard for me to believe most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leave to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait, and erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Well, that's much more than I knew ten years ago. Um... I grabbed the pen and I tried to write things down, but the pen was dead. So we're going to watch this message again. I'm just going to scribble down some notes. Here we go. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leave to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But... If you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. All right. I got most of it. Um, he had to leave quickly. Something terrible happened. Most of his books has been destroyed. All right. It's maybe Agonal or Saginaw, one of his sons. He thinks it's that son. And there's another son. His name is Cirrus. He and he, and he, he blamed, blamed himself because he left his library unchecked for so long. He removed the remaining undestroyed books and put somewhere I missed where, uh, somewhere safe. Um, but I did hear him say he removed them from the library. Roof. Um, and then I put uh, remember the tower rotation 
Let's watch this one more time so I could just scribble down the last few things. Um, I plan on keeping a page at snipergaming.org, at our website, with the clues we've collected and um, just a sort of a record. I mean, we do have these videos as a record, too, but sometimes to go all the way back and scroll through videos to find one little thing could take, could be kinda, kind of uh, time-consuming. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leap to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Okay. I picked up only a one more thing, and I didn't quite hear the word he said. He said, if you forgot the access something, probably code, to remember the tower rotation. Um, we're going to try, try this one more time. Um, just to see what that word was. And I'll probably cut, cut these repeats out of our Catherine, my video. Love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but I, I shouldn't leap to conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But... If you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. All right. I don't know what he said. That word, I missed it again. But I'll, I'll look at it in the recording later. I guess we'll just have to keep that in mind. And he also said to erase the message... Uh, I'm a little leery of doing that, but I think we have all the information. I actually don't know how to erase the message. I would say, I would say erasing the message would consist of taking this secret code out of here. Put that one back in. And maybe, uh, Sometimes I just can't hear myself talk. I need to do this here. My earpiece is too loud. Maybe destroy his wife's that message for, for Catherine. It would be a way to erase. I don't know how to erase, but um, well, now that's a good start on this game. We've got enough to titillate our senses and activate our appetite for mystery and i think this is a great start for this game i'm looking forward to solving this and hoping that you the viewing audience will help me as needed i, I was not so good at this game last time but uh already we're farther along and let's see if we can destroy this note uh, i tried right clicking on it and there's nothing you can do so you can't destroy it I don't know how to erase that message. It may not be that important. And we may have done that by just... Uh, we may have done that by changing the number on the amateur. Alright, so another thing we've learned here is his name is uh, Atreus, I guess. Atreus. So we got a family of Atreus, Catherine... 
and Aganaw, and Cirrus. Okay, it looks like a family of four. And, uh... Hello, okay, so... A quick rundown on what we have learned in episode one of Mist. And... Uh, As you can see, um, here are the clues we have. Episode one clues from this is this is episode one that you're watching. Uh, eight marker switches. Gears and mechanics are underground. Imager is in the four chamber by the dock. Um, there's more details we can expand on that. Um, I'll try to do that later. Uh, there's a four person family: Atreus, Catherine, Agatha, and Cirrus. Uh, there was a secret message from the father to the mother that said he had to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. Most of his books are destroyed. He suspects his son, Aganaw. He will catch up with both of his sons and find them, Aganaw and Cirrus. He should not have left his library unchecked for so long. He removed the remaining undamaged books and put them in a place of protection. She should not have to use the books until after he returns, father. If you forget the access code or keys, I never could get that word. I listened to that recording a million times. If you forget the access something, um, remember the tower rotation. Okay. Uh, other random things to remember. Sunken ship marker switches. Imager. Tower rotation. Spaceship. Spaceship hooked to electricity. Model of sunken ship in a bird bath. Clock in the water on a gear. The boiler. The safe. The tree behind the boiler. We also have a lot of buildings to investigate. Um, uh, things to investigate in our, second ep in our second episode. And I think that our primary goal for our second episode will be to explore and take down notes everywhere we go. So, don't forget now, um, until the next time we can play Mist together, um, have a happy new year. It's, it's January 2nd. And I hope you like this. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Take care. Head to snipergaming.org and check for the page on Mist to see these clues listed.